All right, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to one. So I obviously wanna find the value of x for this problem. So for my solution, I first start with 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to one. And now, if I have something in the form x to the power of zero, right? Well, any, any number to the power of zero is simply one. So we know we see one here and one is the same thing as a number to the power of zero. So I'm gonna rewrite one as 10 to the power of zero. So now I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of zero because 10 to the power of zero is the same thing as one. And the reason I did this is so that these two bases here are the same. Now, as you see, they're both 10. So now I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of zero. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning over here, because both of our bases are the same, they both are 10, our exponents are gonna be equal to each other as well. Meaning nine minus x squared, that's gonna be equal to zero. So I have nine minus x squared is equal to zero. Now, as you see, we have a simple equation to solve. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna add x squared on both sides. So these two cancel out and then I have x squared is equal to nine. Now I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to square root of nine. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of nine, this can be positive or negative three. So my two solutions for x are x equals three and x equals negative three. So now I actually have another solution so again, I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to one. And this time I'm actually gonna take the log on both sides. So I have log of 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to log one. So now log of one, that's zero. So I have log 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to zero. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So in this case, I have nine minus x squared times log 10 is equal to zero. Now log 10, this is simply zero. Or sorry, this is simply one. So now I have nine minus x squared times one, which is simply nine minus x squared is equal to zero. And again, I'm back to where I started. Nine minus x squared equals zero, so x is equal to three or negative three. So that is my second solution. All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm gonna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, log 100 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by log 100. So log 100 and log 100, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now log 200, I can rewrite as log of 100 times two and log 100, I can rewrite as log 10 squared. 
Now, if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So now this is the same thing as log 100 plus log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So log 10 to the power of 2, that's the same thing as 2 times log 10. Now log 10, that's equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to log 100 plus log 2 over 2. And again, we have log 100 again, and that's again equal, going to equal to 2. So I have 2 plus log 2 over 2. And this is the same thing as 2 over 2 plus log 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So I have 1 plus log 2 over 2. Now we need to find the exact value of log 2 uh, to which we can use a calculator. So if you use a calculator, you get that log 2 is 0 0.301. And I have that divided by 2. So now this is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.1505. So now 1 plus 0 0.1505 is 1 1.1505. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. <clears throat> So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 here as x to the power of 3 times 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 3 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So if I replace y with x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, all I have to do is simply rewrite negative y here as negative 2y plus y. Now from here, if I factor out y from y squared minus 2y, I get y times y minus 2. And I can the greatest common factor of y negative 2 is just 1. So I have 1 times y minus 2. And now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 2 is equal to 0. And I have y plus 1 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 2. And for y plus 1 equals 0, y is equal to negative 1. So now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal to y. So if x to the power of 3 is equal to y, and we have two solutions of y, we have y equals 2 and y equals negative 1. So I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So to solve this, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, and the cube root of 2, that's simply cube root of 2. So one solution of x is the cube root of 2. Now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. And to solve this, again, I'm going to be taking the cube root on both sides. So now I have the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of negative 1. Now again, the cube root of x to the power of 3, that's simply equal to x. And the cube root of negative 1, well, the cube root of a negative number is still going to be a negative number. So the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. 